a gentleman's club, cheetah girls. And sitting there and all of a sudden this girl comes out a hat, one of those graduation hats, you know, black robes. What that woman's name was? No. What if there's no such thing as public opinion? Because every thinking person has opinions that are uniquely his own. What if what we call public opinion was just a manufactured narrative that makes it easier to convince people that if their views are different, then there's something wrong with that, or there's something wrong with them? And believe me, I've let Google know that more than once. You know her? Let me get a closer look at this. Hmm, looks familiar. I know. Doesn't she? What if the widely perceived differences between the two parties was just an illusion? What if the heart of the government policy remains the same, no matter who's in the White House? And believe me, I've let Google know that more than once. Professor Lay. You think that you have some dirt on me, right? What if the heart of government policy remains the same, no matter what the people want? What if those vaunted differences between Democrat and Republican were actually just minor disagreements? And believe me, I've let Google know that more than once. You know, with the economy and everything, some of us have to supplement our income in all sorts of ways. What if government policies didn't change when government leaders did? And believe me, I've let Google know that more than once. Push a button and all of a sudden, you know, it just happens to get sent to the dean. And, you know, I just think it'd be so much more... The dean, huh? So much better for you just to give me an A. Do you know how many deans I have in my back pocket? Quite a few. I've been doing this a long time. What if the rhetoric that candidates displayed on the campaign trail was dumped after electoral victory? What if Barack Obama campaigned as an anti-war, pro-civil liberties candidate and waged senseless wars while assaulting your rights that the Constitution is supposed to protect? And believe me, I've let Google know that more than once. So, why don't we just keep this between us and you shut your bratty little mouth up and what, keep it quiet, huh? And we don't tell anybody. What if Ron Paul is being ignored by the media, not because, as it claims, he's unappealing or unelectable, but because he doesn't fit into the pre-manufactured public opinion mold used by the establishment to pigeonhole the electorate and create the so-called narrative that drives media coverage of elections? And believe me, I've let Google know that more than once. And you can study real hard and pass my course. Like a nice, responsible young boy should. Hmm? Why don't you say we do that? What if it were possible to have a real game changer? You think we can arrange something like that? And believe me, I've let Google know that more than once.